Tally. Um, thanks for joining me this Sunday night. It is the 13th of January, 10.21 p.m., and I'm going to do a little bit of something different tonight. Um, tonight I'm streaming Temple OS. It's an operating system built by the late Terry Davis. It's a Christian-oriented um, operating system. Um, he built it because he believed um, you could help him talk to God. Um, it's open source. It's pretty easy to run and install. Um... So, um, before I jump into it, I just want to open tonight with a few words about him. Because, um, because anybody who's familiar with Temple OS and the man behind it knows that, um, he wasn't well. He suffered from schizophrenia, um, for most of his adult life. And, um, he, and, um, he took his own life late last year. So, um, there's a, so there's that, um, wherever he's wherever he's at now he's in a better place so he's no longer suffering and um again to people who know the, about the man like um especially see some of his videos um he spoke um he had a lot of racial slurs um he used the n-word a lot um about that usually um people say that uh racism is part of the mental illness i don't normally see it that way because um, that's an insult to people who actually deal with mental illness. And um, racism and hatred is just that racism. I mean, it goes along with being a stupid per um, being a stupid person, but um, mental illness doesn't have anything to do with it. But um, as far as Terry, but with Terry Davis is concerned, um, the racism he showed like, actually was a byproduct of, of um, his mental illness, his schizophrenia. He believed the CIA was chasing him, um, things like that. So that's why... So, um, Normally, I wouldn't give a toss about something done by a racist. I mean, um, I'm definitely not gonna go through some storefront shit. But like, um, when I, but um, really, in that kind of, in the context, in the context here, um, you gotta look to, you gotta look at it towards sympathetic eyes because he clearly wasn't his in his right mind. So, um, anyway, I'm not gonna say much more. We're just gonna jump right into it. Oh yeah, like at the at the end of the video, I'm gonna post a couple like when I um export this to YouTube and when I'm done with this on Twitch, I'll post a link to a place where you can go to uh, to like where you can go to download this, which so you can try it out on your own. Also I'll post a link to a um to a tutorial video um on how to install Temple OS. And plus there's some that they left out too, because if you're using a sixty four bit operating system, because part of it you're gonna to have to select sixty four operating Operating system, so you have to go into your BIOS and change and enable your virtualization. And I'll post a video on how to do that too, as well. Also, there is a uh, mini documentary online about Simple OS, and that's how I learned about it. So I'm going to post the links to all those things like once I'm done. So anyway, I'm running this inside an Oracle VM Virtual Box on a Windows computer, um, and here is the bootloader. I've already done the hard work of installing it and whatnot. So we're going to go to Drive C. So I poked around at this last night, so you're basically seeing what I'm seeing. So I'm, you're seeing a lot of this for the first time, and so am I. And I think I can reassign this. Take tour. Um, no, I think we'll leave it be for now. Um, let's see. What shall we do worse? I wish I could do the God song because um. It's randomly it's songs generated by a random number generator, but um, it doesn't work on Windows only on only on a Linux if you're running the virtual box. So um, maybe one day I'll install Windows and run this for virtual box just to show you guys how it works. Okay, there's God Word, God Passage. Let's do God Passage Shift plus F7. Palm seventy eight thirty two wonders works. Therefore, their their days did he consume in vanity, their years in trouble. When he slew them, then they sought him. They returned and inquired early after God. And they remembered that God was their rock and the high God, their redeemer. Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth. And they lied unto him with their tongues. For their heart was not right with him, and they were steadfast in his covenant. But he, being full of compassion, forgave their iniquity and destroyed them. Yea, many a time turned be his anger away and did not stir his wrath. Enter, so we're going back home. Um, let's see if we can do a God word, which is randomly generated word. Oh, Acts twenty three thirty four, 
And when the governor had read the letter, he asked of what province he was. And when he understood that he was of Sicilia, 2335, I will hear thee, said he, and thine accusers are also come. And he commanded him to be kept in Haraj's judgment hall. And after five days, Ananias the high priest descended with the elders and with a certain orator named Ter Tertullius, who informed the governor against Paul. And when he was called forth, Tertullus began to accuse him, saying, Seeing that by thee we enjoy great quietness, and that very worthy deeds are done unto this nation by thy province, we accept it always, and in places most noble, Felix in all thankfulness. Notwithstanding that I be not further tedious unto thee, I pray thee that thou would hear us of us in thy clemency a few words. For we have found this man, a persistent fellow, a mover of... It apparently doesn't continue. Actually, you know, give me one second here. So, as you can see, this was, he was a very Christian. He was very Christian, and this operating system was very Christian-oriented. Um, like I got said years ago, I have no... I have no issue with religion. I myself am atheist. Well, agnostic. If I mean, I do believe in higher power, but I don't believe in any one religion. But um, um, if your religious beliefs—I mean, whether you're a Christian, Muslim, Jew, Scientologist, whatever—I really don't care. Um, if that's what's pushing you to be a better person. Then more power to you. I'm currently dealing. I'm currently answering some stuff on Facebook real quick, so I don't want to be filled with dead air. So, um, and everything in the right menu, you'll notice a gray area called autocomplete. So if I'm typing something, then it'll automatically suggest. You know, I'm actually just words uh, while you're typing it. That's a pretty cool thing. All right. All right, so let's see what else we can do. Um, all right. Do a God Doodle. What, what does that do? The Holy Spirit can puppy use. Press space until it finishes. Okay. Press space. We're going to hold down space. And apparently he's drawing a... He's drawing a picture. Press escape to insert sprite. Press shift to escape to draw away sprite. What does drawing away the sprite do? Oh, okay. Oh, so I'd get rid of it. Shift plus FS. So he's drawing random lines and coloring them in. So let's insert the sprite. And do much different either. Um, let's see what else we can do. Well, one thing I learned is that there's no calcul um oh, word and Okay, yeah, when you click on a word then all then um it's does that little auto connect thing, so you're looking that up. So, um, and one thing I learned while doing this is that this doesn't have like a calculator function. Like you can use the prompt itself as a calculator. So you can do something like, or if I can get it to work. Oh, wait, five plus seven. So you use something like that, five plus seven pound, you can get a in. It'll give you twelve. So let's do. One times two, three. I wonder if we can do more complex stuff. All right, one times two is two plus twelve equals fourteen. All right, so um, one thing um, so the operating system was built in a subset of C called Holy C. So um, there's a few things. So like the one main difference is that. There's no main method, so you can just run functions, however. I'm mostly a C sharp.net guy, so um 
shift plus escape. I want to get rid of that. Ooh. That doesn't look good. Okay, so we're going to do some... So I made my way to the demo page. Let's do a demo weblog. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, so it's a random listing of files. Um, let's see what else. Why oh, now? Control M, personal menu. So here's some games you can play. Let's do titanium. Side to side while shooting, hold down space, press A key. So it's a top down bullet hell shooter. Did I freeze? I hope I didn't freeze. That looks like it froze. How about that? So I'm going to stop and reboot this real quick. Just because it froze. Let's start it back up. Shall we? Oh yeah, uh, make sure you follow me on make sure um, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Um, that's the easy way I'm when know when I'm going to be online. Um... I usually announce what I'm going to play and when I'm going to play it, like, right before I hop on. So, make sure, so, again, if you want to see what, uh, so, I like doing stuff off the beating path, like, like you're seeing now. Um, so, if you like different kind of stuff, then you'll see this. Um, I, I also do play, like, more mainstream titles, too, like, um, currently, I'm, I've been playing a lot of Paladins, so, you'll, so, um, if you see me playing any kind of multiplayer shooter, it'll be that. Copy this file to your home directory and modify it. So we we'll try to titanium again. like it's freezing again. Okay, so Titan is a bit broken. Sure got another game. Unfun games, Castle Frankenstein, Zone Out. Fun games, unfun games. <laughs> if you're unfun, then why would they? Non games. Talons, Castle Frankenstein. Let's do Bomber Golf. I play this. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Also, uh, another thing about this thing that I should mention is that like there's no networking features and like there's no like really hardcore security, so um it's very vulnerable to hacking or would be if there's a network connection. But like um 
his whole purpose was simply to have fun with the thing. So I guess that's if that's all it is, then you can't really blame him for that. Start one of the unfun games, Castle Frankenstein. It's actually a first person shooter. It's not Castle Wolfenstein, it's Castle Frankenstein. He's very printed with colors. Fortnite, eat your heart out. How do I shoot? She use the mouse? No. So I'm using the arrow keys to turn. Now it's play number one. Um Raw Hide. Corral to cattle. Keep holding the control key and scroll with control left grab. Yeah, I get it now. So you gotta push it toward the cattle just to give him to go where I need him to go. You gotta get him up in there. Get in there, get in there, fuckers. Alright. So, like, one thing you'll know about, like, the crater, like, um, like I said, at the top of the, at the, top of the Broadcast. He dealt with schizophrenia, and like, and his later years it got very severe. Like, he ended up like he ended up actually homeless in the in living out his van the last few years of his life. It's like it's really a tragic story of like what can happen when mental illness goes unchecked, and so many times we have such a stigma on it. And people's mental health is very important. Right now, for the sake of my mental health, I'm going to try out another game. Just keep away. Now, there's one that he kept on showing off on a video. Um, oh, there's Jukebox. Probably can't run it or anything. Let's do Night. Player type. What game is this? Oh, left click or move to fire units. Okay, so this is a war game. Huh. Fortnite, eat your heart out.
Nope, an index. This is interesting. Auto complete. Ah, here's God. Help entry on God. The Holy Spirit can puppet you. God Bible passes. God bits. Let's do God bits. Alright, what else is he? features 64 bit compiler for Holy See true compiles as interpret it's APTO hard drives so like this basically uses a merit bare minimum of what you need to operate on a computer but there's demos here's advance That sounds like a class on 3D objects. Intermediate. Games, big guns. So here's like all the different classes for the 40 uh, games, I guess. Why not more? Good question. If a feature cannot be made to work correctly and consistently, professional companies usually remove the feature. Because PC hardware is so diverse, getting things to work on all people's computers is really difficult. For one thing, you practically have to own all the different hardware to write drivers for it. If a company wanted to sell a PC operating system, it would offer a warranty and therefore could not get away with amateur behavior. Temple OS absolutely requires 64 bit computers, so we leave behind much trouble, but plenty remains. I made an incredible accomplishment by getting it to work on practically everyone's computer as long as it is 64-bit. They run inside VMware, QEMU, or VirtualBox. A USB drive will be really ugly. Say what you will about his mental condition, then, um, he, uh, but, uh, writing an operating system, even something like this, is no slouch. You can tell like this is made by a hobbyist for hobbyists. It's just too bad like his mental state like prevented him from being able to, to do just... Like, he could have done just so much more if it wasn't for, if it wasn't for, uh, it wasn't for his mental issues, the uh, schizophrenia. God talks, it seems reasonable that we'll get to make the rules for the whole industry in the future when God is announced publicly to the world. Oh, and another thing about it, he was pretty, he was pretty arrogant. He considered himself the high priest of God and that, uh, oh, Temple of Us was uh, God's temple. You'll learn all about that in the documentary that I link you to. It's not mine, it's made by a dude named uh, Frederick Krenderson. It's part of a series called Down a Rabbit Hole. I love it and I highly recommend it. There's tons of good stuff, so I'm going to link it to that. Red Sea. Red Sea is a foul system, 64 bit, yada, yada, yada. Here's something I wanted to look up real quick.
there was a game on uh, Temple of West called uh, After Egypt I really wanted to check out I'm trying to figure out how it's uh, trying to figure out like how it the uh, open it I'll do some more digging around. Dead. This is probably a zombie game. If you aspire to making games, you must learn to make up roles. Just one of the more straightforward and more well played games. Keep the zombies from killing you. getting pretty close. Huh. Actually pretty fun. Yeah, who needs Fortnite when you got uh, the dead? Hey, who's the, who needs that Resident Evil 2 remake? Okay, I'm done. That was fun. List all subs in alphabetical order. What does that do? Logic. You only available skate ties in order to refer them to use, not and. Oh, this takes me way back to my college days. Um, let's see. One and gate. Table size and hex three. Hex true table. Values and inputs. Oh, duplicate. One. Or four. Too large. Zero.
produce says input connect to input A. Output A to produce this output connect to input B. Connect to input D. I don't know how to do it here, but like, a lot of cases were one of the first things I did when I learned computers in college, like and or and stuff. Code scraps. This elephant was, the sprite was created with control R. Alright. Hanoi, what's that? Try out. All right, games, games, games. Bit boot. Graphics overview, graphics routines, autocomplete, sprites. Okay, task. We can move this gray one around anywhere you want. You can also resize it. Okay, quick start command line. Command line feeds into the Holy C compiler line by line. As you type, a same outside function executes immediately. We're going to add a semicolon. Look on the function headers with autocomplete by hitting Control Shift F1. And type the first few letters. Use a handy function. It is a wrapper around find. It searches for. Round sum. Press enter. Notice the number of matches. Try with the plus one flag. This limits the whole label is not partials. Oh, that's plus L. Notice the number of matches. Try with the plus one dash one flag. This is not a normal case. It limits the whole labels, not partials. Notice the number of matches. 
The wrapper function is in your home wrappers HC file. There's a function B for find and replace. Feel free to customize. Press enter. Place this file at home and change anything you want. Press shift and escape to abort the source code. Can't do that by pressing it up. Um, what's that? Oh, here's something about Terry Davis. I was a National Merit Scholar with 1440 SAT at Arizona State University. I have a Bachelor's in Computer System Engineering from ASU, basically embedded systems, and Master's in Electrical Engineering from ASU Control Systems. I worked as software, hardware, Medical engineer at Ticketmaster from 1990 to 1996. I designed a three-axis stepper motion driver Miller machine 1996-1997 with a CAD CAD package for a company I started called called Home Automation Robotic Equipment. I worked for a company called SciTech Corp. 1997 to 1999. We made FPGA-based image processing equipment. I wrote sim structure from 2000-2001 for HARE. I worked as head software electrical engineer for a company called Graphic Technologies. 2001-2002, making replacement chips for toner, printer cartridges, so they can be rebuilt. Credit stock D. I wrote, I, Terry Davis, wrote all of Timbo West over the past 15.5 years full time. You can run some bare metal 64 bit PCs from about 2005 to 2110 with no layering, libraries, tools, modules, or anything from other sources. Otherwise, you run it in a virtual machine like VMware, Demu, or VirtualBox. It's independent and stands alone. It has no networking, so it certainly doesn't call home. 100% of the source code is included on all distros from the kernel to the compiler to the bootloader is public domain not GPL Bill Gates inspired me to add comments on helping index I hired an artist Cody Ribby for three grand worth of pixel art Eric Van Carbonkock wrote download shell scripts grab number generators from Donald Clue and a Wikipedia entry for linear congruity generator system F what I do oops What am I doing? <laughs> Search find. Try to get out of the screen. Alright. Huh. 
Especially that Moses game he talked about. This was a bunch of five verses. Okay, there's a pulled out many up there. Um, I'll show that to you in a second. Actually, hold down the button, then code tools. Read it, holy see fun. Let's see, insert. Can I clear off this screen, I wonder? Um, Plain text collapse. Uncollapse, no. File manager. I hear it is the file manager. Some documents. Control M. Oh, two lectures um, and not mod fixed point native DISP let's what's this all about okay so there's like example it uses 8-bit native displacements So I'm gonna know what you like thinking about this in the credits because um 
because I'm like, because I want to like find like more stuff like this so I can more like do you know just do a little something different. It's actually looking up something I saw online. Um, I think it's about to crash on me again. Oh no, I recovered. That's good. So let's poke around a little bit more. Um, and another thing that really didn't help matters is like um, there was like an online trolling community around him. And um, if you're familiar with the uh, top, the stuff like, I don't know, Chris Chan, Sonic You, things like that, you know, like when you got like people who online who learn about people with uh, mental illnesses then they'll start like doing shit the fuck with them more and that's what they basically did to this guy so here's keep away oh so he's following a mouse cursor okay Oh, so there's a supplemental desk where that's being found at. Huh. It's actually my uh, stuff's in a dryer, so let me do let me do this real quick. Put it on pause, and I'll get back to it.
Alright guys, I am back. Um, we're back to the world of Temple OS. Uh, there's a number of special distributions, turns out, that uh, they're also with the... They're also with the uh, main Temple OS that you can download. So, um, I'm actually going to bring up his site right now to show you where they're at. See if there's a way to download them. Here's the actual Temple OS org site. I want to show you what it looks like. So looks like uh, things are slowing down my network. Um. Oh, here it is. So I say he passed away, unfortunately, but they're still keeping it up. And here's the download directory. So here's this is the one I'm using, and this is the one you want to use. Let's see if we can get this thing to download. Okay, it's downloading. Alright. So I'm actually going to shut down this for now. I'm going to go back into my virtual box. That's why I'm using to run this. So again, like um, once I'm done, I'll link to you the video that uh, that uh, shows you how to operate and install Temple OS on the virtual box. Okay. So you'll learn all that stuff. Okay. Simple OS settings, storage. That never optical drive. Uh, I believe this is. We'll give it a few seconds.
So let's see, where is it at? For that distribution I recently downloaded. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to end it right here for tonight. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll probably do another live stream with um, the, if I can find the supplemental stuff. Oh, well, let's see if I can find it here. See where he sings the house. That's pretty strange. Um, shit, they don't clear right here. There's going to be too much dead air while I'm looking. So, thanks for joining me tonight, or whether you're watching it live on Twitch or singing on YouTube. Um, Check out the links I post, and okay, now it shows up. So let's see. So I forgot. Uh, well, wait. Good night, y'all. Have a great week, and see you later.